Good evening and welcome. Our top stories. More than 100 bombs recovered from Bordhaman, eight arrested. Congress MLA wants to quit party, expresses desire to join Trinamool Congress. And a Chinese film festival is now on in the city. Police recovered 123 bombs from a house at Mongol Court in Bordaman district last night. 13 people, including the owner of the house, were detained. Eight were later arrested and remanded to 14 days of police custody by the Katwa Subdivision Court. District Police Superintendent Kunal Agarwal said the search operation was carried out after receiving information from sources. The bombs were kept in plastic jars and polythene bags. On Saturday, bombs were hurled by Chinonu Congress workers during an internal feud. The incident has fueled a debate that Bordhaman is gradually becoming a hub for violent activities. A bomb explosion inside a house at Khagragor in Bordhaman in 2014 had sent shockwaves across the state. Recently, a suspected terrorist link with several terrorist outfits was also arrested from Bordhaman a few days after the Dhaka tragedy. कोटे एक टा इनफॉरमेशन चिलो तो खाने एक टा जाएगा है और एक बुमा रखा है चे वही खबर पे हमारे टीम उखाने गए लो यो खान वही स्पॉट थे के वही ग्राम थे के 123 टा बुमा उधार करे चे हमारा बम डिस्पोजल स्क्वेड सीआईडी की इनफॉर्म करे ची वो दे टीम आश्ले आज के जो तो बुमा सीज करा ची और � एक घटने तेरो जने रेस्ट आज मंगल कोटे आज के कोटे पटानो हुए ची और वो पूरों सब तेरो जन की आज के रेस्ट करे कोटे पटानो हुए ची The Congress Left Alliance is losing its relevance in the state. This was stated today by Congress MLA from Bankura, Tushar Kanti Bharacharya. The MLA announced that he wants to be with Mamata Banerjee and the Trinamool Congress at a press conference in Bishnupur today. However, the decision will be taken after consent from both the parties. He also said that he has also urged his supporters to stand by the Chief Minister. सेटा तो हमी एक पक्को बोलते पड़े ना जान को अच्छी नहीं तो ना हमी जान को वो बोल दिया हमारे दर्द पर हम जाएं अभी जान को तो चर्च में लाइन बहुत मन बोल दे बोल दियो हमी हाँ हमारे उनसे जो उन्नान लोग काज जेहतो नहीं करते ना हमी उन्नार सोंग में आजी Continuous heavy rainfall has created a flood-like situation in North Bengal. This has disrupted normal life in Jalpaiguri district. There has been a sharp rise in the water level of the Tista and other rivers of the Duars. Excess rainfall has forced barrage officials to open 19 lock gates of the Tista at Gajol Doba. Around 1,800 cusacks of water has been discharged, submerging low-lying houses near the Tista. Agricultural land in the area has also been submerged. In Odlabari, cultivation has been adversely affected due to increase in water levels of various rivers. Crops spread over 50 bighas of land have been washed away by river waters in the Golabari area. Villages are being shifted to safer places. Block administration officials are distributing dry food to villagers. State Minister of Food Processing and Horticulture, Abdul Razak Mullah today said that farmers' interests should be given utmost priority in order to develop the food processing industry. The minister was speaking at a seminar, Food Processing and Horticulture Industries in West Bengal, new opportunities held in Kolkata. The minister said that farmers often don't get proper prices for their produce because of middlemen. But what about the farmers? Those who are the main producer of raw materials. That uh, the part of the horticulture and agriculture. During my tenure with the left front government, I repeatedly request them, told them, advised them 
they you are not developing the agriculture and the horticulture it is coming up by the initiative of the farmers alone not by the government any initiative is taking so if you make the fruit vegetable producer and the horticulture or the agriculture producer as agro and horti business then the farmers will get benefit to be implemented from state government the seminar was organized by the bharat chamber of commerce amader ekhane reacted hoye jay kichu din dhore ei eta notun samoshya uthe esche je urissa The West Bengal government has again warned cold storage owners and traders against creating an artificial crisis of potatoes in the state. Minister for Agriculture and Marketing Tapan Das Gupta has said that an artificial crisis will not be tolerated. According to the statistics available with the state government around 95 lakh tons of potatoes are produced in the state out of which around 60 lakh tons are for the local market and the excess for other states. However the cold storage owners are not supplying the required quantity of potatoes per day to the markets. The minister also said if the situation did not improve the government would be forced to seize potatoes and sell them at a fair price. With intent to improve cultural exchanges between India and China, a festival of Chinese films is being held at Kolkata's film center, Nondon. Organized jointly by the West Bengal government and the Business Consulate of China, the festival will feature seven films from China. It is the first Chinese film festival in Kolkata. Inaugurated on Sunday, the festival will continue till Wednesday. Is uh, going to be held. in association with the Nandan West Bengal Film Center and we are very glad we are doing it because this is going to be the first joint effort between the Chinese consulate and the West Bengal government and of, of course uh, this initiative in itself is the first ever film event by the Chinese consulate And that brings us to the end of this edition of Metro Scan from Kolkata. Thank you. Namaskar.